Hello teacher! In this video, we are going to learn the three-tiered model of learning, still one of our lessons for Educational Technology 1 or EDUC 2. So, Jerome Bruner is the proponent for the three-tiered model of learning and Jerome Bruner is a Harvard psychologist. And what is this three-tiered model of learning all about? This model points out that every area of knowledge can be presented and learned in three distinct steps. Okay, so um, still the, sim the illustration is very much similar to the cone of experience. And, you know, it's, yeah, it's still a cone. But the only difference is that in the cone of experience, there are 10 levels, whereas in the three-tiered model, there are only three, okay, three levels. So it involves inactive, inactive on the bottom part, on the middle part is the iconic, and in the topmost part is the symbolic, okay? So inactive, well... The learners are engaged in the real thing. They are exposed in the real thing. Iconic, it involves pictures, films, sculptures, and in the symbolic language and math. Like, you know, the in the verbal symbols for the cone of experience. Okay, so there are three learning modes. Oh, we also call them the three learning modes, inactive, iconic, symbolic. So inactive learning through movement or action. So the students or the kid is provided with what pop-up books books or uh, things instructional materials that can be manipulated by the kid okay next is the iconic after giving them or allowing the kid to play with a book we give them a book where our pictures are included picture books so they can learn through images or icons that is why it's called the iconic level so What's the difference now? They still are holding books, but in an active level, they can play with it. They can touch their sense of touch since it is pop up. And on the iconic level, well, uh, they only look at pictures. Okay, pictures serve as a guide. Still, it can caught the attention of the Learn, uh, learners and the last uh, level is the symbolic level which in which the learners can learn through abstract symbols so they are just given books no no more picture like they can read for research so they are given journals uh, links that they can search up online like that so again the three learning modes the inactive iconic and symbolic so uh an approach for learning is um, being integrated into this three-tiered model of learning. We call this as the CPA approach. C stands for the concrete. You know, they can manipulate these blocks, right? P stands for the pictorial. So pictures, graphs, maps, like that. And A stands for abstract, verbal or numbers, numbers sim uh, symbols 2 plus 1 equals 3 so if we can uh, observe in this approach you know, even us we will always prefer to use this one the concrete instructional materials so also it is uh, this approach is very helpful this is applicable for our learners okay we give them for example we teach them yeah the concept of uh, the concept of addition so we may make use of stones or leaves or actual things the realia in which they can manipulate they can touch before proceeding to giving them on um, worksheets that has pictures pictures and before giving them this one the abstract symbols because when we direct uh when we give them directly these abstract symbols, there's a tendency that most of the learners will develop math anxiety because they were not able to um, be exposed on the uh, more simpler, more simpler um, way of presenting the lesson. Okay, so are the implications of the cone of experience in the teaching learning process the same with the things that are recommended by Brunner's theatered model of learning? Yes or no? The answer is yes. Okay, we uh, both of them, the cone of experience and the three-tiered model of learning suggests 
that we should start with the concrete before proceeding to the abstract. Okay, so which learning aids in Edgar Dale's kind of experience corresponds to each year in Brunner's model? Okay, we have here the direct purposeful. Ito yung cone of experience, if you can still remember this one. So, ano yun dito, uh, which belongs to the categoriz categorization of Jerome Brunner's three-tiered model? Let's learn on the next slide. So, this, this is the answer for that one. So, for the inactive level of the three-tiered model of learning by Jerome Brunner, if we compare it to the cone of experience, if you can see this arrow, so field trip, starting from field trip, demonstration, dramatized experience, contrived experience, direct purposeful experiences, they all belong to the inactive level. Okay? For the iconic level, there are exhibits, motion pictures, audio recordings, and photos. Okay? And for the symbolic level, we have... Yeah, the... Uh, Visual symbols, text, uh, verbal symbols. Yan siya. So, if you look at this on this side, it starts with the concrete still, ha? Ito siya. Uh, always remember that the, con the cone of experience and the three-tiered model of learning by Jerome Bruner is very, inter very related to each other. Okay, it's just that in the cone of experience, there are many levels, 10, and on the three tier, there are three, but again, kinategorize lang ni Jerome Brunner yung nasa cone of experience. Both of them suggest that we should start with the concrete before proceeding to the abstract so that the learners will understand the concepts better. I hope you have learned something. Thank you so much, teachers. Have a good day.